Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision, and today is another day for Spline. You know, the 3D application, which is really new in the market, so I'm also testing it out to see what's going on, and I came up with this beautiful kind of uh, letter form combined, and also which was inspired from uh, brand new, it's called you can check the brand new co.uk. Uh, they are making these insane 3D stuff, so letters, and it's pretty badass. So I also started with normal regular sketch. Uh, I sketched out how to be and imported this into Spline. And of course, you can see I'm creating all the shapes on it now from uh, a um, cube. And I'm distorting the cube in all kind of all kind of ways and cylinders. This is, for example, a cylinder. Placing it right there. And the main idea is to you know the form to be halfway through uh, the sketch. So basically, it's 50% out, 50% in. And this is a yeah. This is also a um, what is that called? A cylinder but you also can make a hole in that cylinder and modify that and you can see in the right the settings for uh, all kinds of shapes which you can create so basically I decided to create another cylinder in between these half circles to make basically an extension I don't know how to make this perfectly by the way I was doing it kind of manually the application this kind of software is pretty new so uh, Right now it has like less futurists, but they are like adding it and uh, tweaking it, you know. And uh, you know, it's in improve. Uh, the software is is basically improving. And uh, yeah, mainly this part was a kind of a struggle until I got it right. But then I grouped it, of course. I rotated that, placed it in the right place, and uh, yeah, there you go. It's exactly after the sketch, and there you go. That's the bottom of the letter R, I mean the lag at least. And of course, I'm trying to save the project, you know, as much as possible because uh, the problem is that uh, sometimes the software crashes. So um, I needed to, needed to be cautious because I lost the, some of, some part of the project, you know, and uh, it's kind of uh, yeah. So, but but mainly, you know, I kind of got it right you know 3d is a little bit more difficult than two dimensions because we can have the third dimension and here you can see how i'm using basically the third dimension rather than what you see right now there is right now it's two dimension but when you rotate it to see it from another angle it's gonna be more brilliant and in the third dimension you can add way more creativity you know in 3d design basically this is you know, it's it's more creativity stored in, you know, rather than only in two, dimi two dimensions. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the design is coming uh, together pretty good. Uh, so as you can see, it's not even after the sketch anymore. I'm recreating it from my head. You know, I'm pretty much freestyling it from this point. And uh, I'm at kind of the last pieces right now. I'm creating the right leg of the letter R. We got those little staircases going on. And uh, yeah, so the thing is like, it takes a little bit more time because we got the third dimension, as I said, you know, it's it's gotta be a little bit difficult to move the shapes around in 3D in order to fit that there in the right way. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> when you're getting used to a new software, it, to a new application it's gonna take time until you learn it and you get used to it and all that stuff I'm talking right now to the people who never use 3d softwares so basically this is a really simple and basic version of a 3d software but basically it's pretty efficient and uh, and this basically does things differently it works with uh, um, and for kind of opacities, you can uh, shift the effects and materials. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, I might do a separate video of, of, you know, like showing, as you can see here. Also, I modify how, modif how I modified the bevel and what is it called? I don't even know. 
what was the name for it but uh, you can see the options there it's pretty right straightforward uh, when I'm creating all the shapes I'm using the same options and uh, it doesn't even have too many options uh, it's simplified it's really simplified and you know it's pretty easy to learn and as you can see here also when I added those uh, circles or what is it called those little balls it was pretty difficult to edit there you know to because until you put it into the right place uh, it's gonna take up some time so yeah um, right now it's the coloring process um, I managed to create of course this gold effect on it and also thinking to add some other effects other materials um, but you know the color combination right now I'm just freestyling with the colors because I was enjoying you know to add some all kind of colors on the on these shapes it was like really exciting but um, yeah eventually I managed to simplify all these stuff uh, and on the example where I got inspired it was added a lot of materials you know a lot of textures which was really greatly placed in harmony so they looked very well composed there and uh, I don't think with this software you can do uh, that advanced um, so I'm basically simplifying it but yeah I'm trying out like these basic textures uh, the main idea was like combine some really nice reflective reflect reflecting reflective gold with uh, two more colors and uh, as you can see one is eventually red and the other one is the blue and uh, yeah this is the process I also added some other uh, materials on the blue so uh, it looks a little bit more purple it looks a little bit more blue it's a nice mix there um, so yeah mainly uh, these are the last steps and uh, yeah there you go I also I'm also adding some spotlights some uh, different kind of lights in there and mainly this is it these are the last steps but as you can see how it moves around it's pretty badass and there's also the background I decided to go with the blank background that that's it you know not complicated too much because you know I wasted a good amount of time on it so yeah mainly this was it and this is what it came out so hope you liked it I don't know if you learned something from it because this is a time-lapse video but uh, you can see the settings there what I'm doing and uh, it's kind of uh, I'm kind of doing the same thing it's pattern pattern going on in there so anyways uh, this was it for today thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the other videos as well have a great day bye bye